celestial or bestial mouse is an entity, a living, breathing organism. It grows and it morphs just like fungi. It takes all that has, is, and will happen into its pores, sucks it up, and spits it out. It's an art form with me, Lynette Cerezo, feeding its existence. I think the what is the more interesting way to answer this question. The air we breathe, oceans that we smell and see, trees, patterns in textiles and in nature and buildings, even conversations, ones that we accidentally hear just by walking by, animals, the way they look, communicate and sound. I'm a very visual person, possibly has synesthesia, and all of this finds its way into bestial mouse. Anything that can be touched, felt, smelled, or heard finds its way into our music. And I'm not talking about the usual heard or the traditional music. So, for example, when we filmed the last EP and LP, I stayed in a motel. And the sound of the broken fan quickly turned into a synth line and a vocal line for me. So I got up out of bed, recorded it, and it found its way into the last EP in Shrouds and the last LP, Resurrected in Black. For my post-show ritual, that is definitely treat time when I reward myself with fries and a fancy cocktail. Pre-show, I definitely need some alone time. So you probably won't see me. I'll be kind of hiding out. The reason is I really need to do my form of meditation and focus. I have a really active mind. So I need to spend this time to kind of concentrate and get into the zone of what I'm about to do, which oftentimes feels like you're ripping off your flesh and becoming super vulnerable. But I feel that also is what brings emotion and energy into my performance. So I probably look a little funny and like a mad woman. You'll often find me walking around in circles, kind of pacing, breathing heavily, getting air really into my lungs stretching and just kind of meditating and thinking. Um, that's what I do before. <laughs> Relax. Oh, that's a funny word and such a tricky thing in life. Honestly, mostly animals. Whether it be going on long dog walks, hanging out with goats and chickens and sheep and petting them, um, any form of animal interaction really gets me to the core and brings me back into the importance of living and why I'm even alive. I also really love to make jewelry. I find it really soothing and kind of cathartic. What I do is I collect broken pieces, discarded pieces, found objects, um, cracked and chipped crystals, anything along that line, anything someone may also want to give me that uh, they have no use for anymore. And I like to lay it all out and recreate it into something, you know, make a new life form out of it so that that energy goes on to the new user. Lately, I've really been into plants. They each have their name along with their stories and I introduce them and they have their own little soap opera that is going on. I really love to eat jelly beans um, and candy, um, which I try to limit, of course, because I am an adult. And I love being silly with my friends and just doing whatever silly stuff we like to do. A lot of times um, I constantly go through my closet and I repurpose things and make them into new things. So I have a million projects happening of whether I'm going to re-dye it, cut it into a shirt or shorts, make a belt out of it, um, 
Oftentimes, my boyfriend will be like, where did you go? I'm like, I got lost in closet land. So that is a lot of what I do to relax. Oh, new favorite items. Here is this photo of my rescue pit rot, Jessica. This is her modeling debut by my photographer friend, Taz Lemur. This is Hollywood Jess. Then I got these magical agate slabs. It was from a really cool stop when we were on tour. We decided to uh, just stop off on the road and uh, we met an ostrich and we found some gems and rocks and all these magical things. Also, I found this tour treasure of horses and it's perfect for me to put my collected sticks with crystals and these magical bone ones that were made just for me. And then also this chainmail piece. I got this gift right before I played a show, which fed me so much energy. And I just want to wear this thing with everything and everywhere. Even a summer bathing suit. For the next or the latest release, the LP that we are currently working on as I'm recording this interview and should be done when we are playing out Solution Fest. It is called Rot, R-O-T-T, In My Skin, Road of Thousand Tears. Once again, it features branch showers of Damon and Solve. This time now it features Raphael and Matthew Tucker who you will see performing with Beastie Mouse Live. And we have a really cool guest producer that will be revealed when the music is revealed. Basically, it's the next phase of my life or Bestial's life. It's about the journey of where we've been, where we're going, and what's to the future. It's the next level, I feel, of Bestial where we can all come together to feel, sing, and dance. It's also an album where I pay homage to being a minority female, where I will sing in both Spanish and English. I feel this album will have a lot of anthem-like qualities that really symbolize the whole journey that Beastial has been on, but it still leaves room for more. Of course, I'm super excited to be included in this year's Absolution Fest. I can't wait to see all the bands play live and connect with everybody and meet old and new friends. But the truth is I'm really excited to be playing Florida. I actually grew up in Orlando, Florida. So to me, playing shows in Florida really means a lot. It connects really, really deep with me. Um, anything I can do to support those who put on shows, go to shows, Anyone who can continue to keep the arts alive in Florida, I will do. It's a very hard uphill battle. And without those who did that for me when I was younger, I mean, I really owe them a lot. Maybe a lot of what I am today. So it has an emotional significance to me. And it's also a time I can stop in and see my family. You can find me and Bestial Mouse on all the socials, Instagram, which personally is my favorite,
Facebook, bestdealmouse.com, which is a good source to find the events, the shows coming up, and where and how to purchase tickets, Bandcamp, so you can buy merch and music. We also have a TikTok, which chronicles our tours and kind of daily life, and also my favorite thing of eating fries and cocktails and all my excursions, if that interests you. And I'd really like everyone to check out our YouTube. On YouTube, you will see our videos and also collaborations I have done with other musicians and artists. If you haven't known who they are before, you now can get introduced to them. And of course, on Spotify. So I'd like to leave you with this, with this interview, and thank everyone for listening and Absolution Fest for having us. Even in my dreams, our screaming never stops. Run, run to ruins, and ruins, and ruins we run, run, run to ruins. Thank you. Yeah.